Alright, we're gonna go ahead and start off the Freeze Flame Galaxy in this part. Um, with actually the boss battle is the first star in this galaxy. And you're also introduced to ice skating in this level. Hey old man, are you practicing how to skate too? Well why don't you play a game? Can you catch me? Basically when you're on ice, all you have to do is shake the remote and then you'll automatically start skating. And that's how you have to catch this penguin. And you can do spin attacks while keeping your momentum, which is pretty cool. Ah, oh, crap. Basically, just hug the inner rim. And follow him. And every time you shake the remote, too, that, then do a spin attack, it gives you a boost. And as soon as you catch him, they'll make the launch shot appear. Which takes you over to the freeze part of Freeze Flame Galaxy. There's basically two halves of this galaxy, a freeze part and a uh, the flame part. And there's like one part where they merge. But you'll only see the freeze part in this level. Triple Goomba Mayhem. because it'll make the ice flower appear and of course since this is an ice level we'll see the return of ice mario and try to stay out of this water because it will hurt you if you stay in it too long and another thing to note when you are you making ice with ice mario you can just skate on it like i just mentioned how to skate Basically, Baron Burr is at the top of the mountain. Baron Burr is the boss. As you can tell, another very creative name. Like, Burr is in cold. <laughs> yeah, funny. Alright, here's the boss. And you pretty much need Ice Mario to beat him. He'll just shoot. He has pretty cool boss music too. Go in here for the Ice Ma uh, Flower. Then just skate along here. Then here, then wall jump. Crap. Crap. Uh, you can stay regular Mario once you're up there. You can just stay up here. And you spin attack him when he ground pounds. And then... Spin attack him again once he's small. And then that'll hurt him. And then he's gonna try to push you off. But just try to stay on here or else you'll need to get ice mushroom again. And it only takes two hits to kill him, so there, he's dead. Oh no, it doesn't, never mind. Very good. There we go. Three hits. And then the star appears. This is actually another one of my favorite galaxies, but uh, stay tuned for the next part. Alright, for this star we get to visit the fire half that I mentioned of Freeze Flame Galaxy, but of course we have to start from the same... Um, you start a lot of the stars from this area, this little ring here. Um, and then you just got to have to get a different launch star. So instead of a penguin, you have to get Star Chase. If you ever want to stop while you're ice skating, um, all you have to do is you know, get all these stars. Um, just jump and then don't continue moving while you're jumping. Yeah. Woohoo! 
Alright, now we're gonna be in the fire part. This is actually one of the most fun levels. Graceland Galaxy's music is really warm though. That's probably the one thing keeping this from being back to being my favorite gal or one of my favorite galaxies. I really don't have a favorite galaxy, I just have a bunch of favorites. There's a life shroom coming back there. And then those um like places from uh like torches. Um we'll get back to those in a minute here. First what you need to do is get this coin, which will make the fire flower appear, which you should know what that does. Except the effect isn't permanent, it's temporary, it lasts about as long as the ice fire, uh, ice flower does. And the ice, uh, fire mar is the only way to kill these enemies. And they do drop a lot of star bits, by the way. Alright, then hurry through here. Like these two torches. And you can tell that the ability is about to run out because the music speeds up. Basically, the faster the music goes, the more, the closer you're getting. That thing spins on it, so be careful, and of course, you take your energy fire. Alright, and this time the fire flower is just in a bubble. Just touch the bubble. Okay. Ah, there goes my life shroom. I think your angle was exactly right at this one. There we go. And then I need to go back to get it because there's another. Thing. The music we have is pretty awesome. And those spiky things will just keep coming, so don't waste your time trying to kill them. And as soon as you have that, that'll raise up. That's the one thing I don't like Fire Mario, um, is that he'll even run out during little cutscenes like that. I don't know if you really want to call that a cutscene, but, you know, whatever you want to call that. No! Ah! Oh, long jump. Yeah, and as you're noticing, if you knock those little enemies into the fire, it really doesn't do anything. They're not affected by it at all. Only by spin attacking him and then curb stomping him. Yes, Mario can curb stomp. There we go. Alright, get that first one and then wait for the fire to run out, your fire Mario power to run out. Then get it again. Then hurry over here quick. Crap. Crap, I'm gonna screw stuff. Then hurry over here. And then hit the other uh, pedestal torch thing. And then that'll extend this little bridge out to the star. Um, that was it for this part. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you give me five star views down below and subscribe to my videos up in the corner. Uh, this is Kalsen, and I'll see you guys later.